Hey, welcome to this Windows 10 channel and this is the review and look at the new build of Windows 10. We are now today, May 11th, uh, we've got a new build of Windows 10 which is 14.3.4.2. It was released earlier than they thought, some kind of uh, problem uh, or error made it uh, release faster than they really wanted to have it. So basically uh, this is the new build for fast ring insiders as you see here in the watermark in the bottom right Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview build 14.3.4.2 was released today May 11th and uh, install went super well no bugs no problems really a clean you know, very very nice install uh, worked really well it was quite fast faster than, than than usual I would say and uh, it simply got into this um, new build right now very stable haven't had in a few hours now it's been what running for about four hours straight no blue screens no problems no freezes it's crisp it's fast it seems to work well um, one of the things that uh, is removed from this version is the Wi-Fi sense if you guys remember it kind of made a, some bad rap at the beginning people saying thinking that you know you would share your Wi-Fi with everyone and that uh, you everybody got scared and you know actually it's dumb a little bit because that was a great feature that was on Windows 10 you could share your Wi-Fi that was I think really nice but basically uh, they decided to remove it so it's removed from this build meaning Wi-Fi sense will not be available in the future so what do we have most of the new features are concentrated in the edge browser edge browser really getting mature here so, as you see here, my Edge browser is getting an extension, as you see here, and it's telling me, hey, you're getting, a, um, you know, extensions and so on. So when you go to the extensions, uh, you get to this page, but instead of actually downloading, you know, in the other previews, you had to download it, then you had to point your browser to the folder where the extension was so that it be added. Now, this actually brings you where? To the Windows Store. All the extensions are for here now. So as you see here, AdBlock Plus being one of the extensions that I am trying right now. And you just click the install button and what's cool is that it triggers this little bubble on the upper right corner, that window that says, okay, you have a new extensions, you want to turn it on, you just click the turn on button. Basically, works fine and is a much easier way to actually get extensions for Edge. Uh, other uh, things that we have is that the new extensions at block at block plus and also pin it button mouse gestures reddit enhancement suit Microsoft translator OneNote web clipper uh, now you've got real-time notifications added to Microsoft Edge if a website has a new feature a new notification in real time that they wants to give you and this compatible you will have it in the action center which is pretty cool so if your favorite website, for example, of news has some updated news, you'll know. It's really nice. Uh, if you have a touch device, new swipe navigation is here. Swipe left to go left to go back. Swipe right to go forward. So it replaces the buttons on the upper right, uh, upper left corner. Sorry. So you don't have to click the buttons. You can just swipe on your touch device. Uh, bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Improve. Uh, bash. You just heard me say it well uh, bash on Ubuntu on Windows because that's uh, the way they call it now uh, bash on Ubuntu on Windows is simply that they added the Ubuntu name probably because Ubuntu said hey we want to have our name there because we we partnered with you for that and we want to have our name showing here so it's called bash on Ubuntu on Windows uh, slightly improved you can now um, use it with a Windows subsystem for Linux that supports Simlinks and mounted Windows directories. So, and the users and non Latin Windows usernames are now able to install Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. There's a updated Skype Universal app. So, the uh, Skype Universal app preview is updated. If you want to see, you can now set a dark theme, for example, to it. Windows Inc., if you have a compatible device and use that, Windows Inc. is also something that is updated. Um, user account control dialogues are updated in their looks. So um, they've, they've been tweaking a lot that one. 
and they're trying to find kind of the way that it should show correctly. So for example, here's the user account control. So this is what it looks like right now and just answer yes or no, depending on what you want to do. So that's a new look for the dialog box. Uh, they're, they're kind of not really sure what they want to do here, I guess. Middle click, if you have that little mouse uh, wheel and you know that mouse wheel clicks, of course, in the action center, you can center click and it will actually dismiss a notification from your notification or the action center notification. One of the things that's added here but still doesn't work totally is the um, redirect. So when you click a, a, a website, you click a link and it wants to open an app that you have, it's going to bring you a list of apps and say, hey, which app do you want to lose, not lose, but use to actually uh, use this feature or open this link. Um, but it's it's the beginning, the basics are there, but it's not yet functional. Feedback Hub has been improved, suggest categories, subcategories based on the title and description of what you want. Of course, there's a problem with it, uh, 20 to 30 minutes before the Feedback Hub actually works, so you got to be real patient. Uh, some of the fixes, uh, there is a fix at the DRM bug. Uh, if you had Netflix, Movies and TV, Groove Music, Amazon Instant Video and so on, that had DRM to verify if you're allowed to play this content. Uh, that was broken, so basically they couldn't play anything. Uh, that's fixed. Also, um, there's a few more fixes that are actually happening. So um, these are all little things that um, are real nice uh, in there. Uh, and uh, the fixed issues, um, desktop app converter product Centennial um, was being blocked. It's not blocked anymore. They also have uh, worked issues on HDMI and SPDIF out uh, when there were some sounds and some uh, there were some issues there. Um, more polished Cortana, which works fine by the way in this version because I had issues with Cortana before. Um, also, the Action Center and Taskbar wasn't displaying correctly. That's fixed. Fixed a clock and calendar flyout issue in the Taskbar that looked weird. Uh, also. As for the uh, issues for this um, version, the issues that it has a uh, feedback hub 20 to 30 minutes before it actually gets out and it's not localized, it's US English only. Other things like uh, Norton antivirus and internet security are causing the PCs to blue screen. So uh, that's a problem. Uh, QQ app crashes. Uh, this has been one for a while. And uh, non-English keyboard can accept bash prompts, stuff like that. And uh, so, um, you know, apart from these little bugs, everything working pretty well, actually. And I'm really uh, enjoying that new build of Windows 10 Insider Preview. So uh, if you're an insider, get it while you can. It uh, is available since today and really, really works well. Like I said, most of the features and the interesting stuff here is concentrated on Microsoft Edge, which will become a really, really nice browser in the uh, uh, the um, anniversary update, basically. So if you're in a fast stream, check it out. And of course, if you're not an insider, make sure that you, in you use insider previews only on specific machines, not the main machines that you're working on. This is unfinished software, it could crash, and you might have to reinstall Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.